everybody. I'm Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. I'm sitting on, literally, on uh, the floor of the studio here, and I've just been messing around with uh, a chord progression, G5, going to C9, going to D and D7. I started working on this video oh, probably a week ago or something. And uh, this is during Christmas break. I take a break just before Christmas for about two weeks. And then start teaching again at the beginning of January uh, this year, which is 2021. And Happy New Year, by the way, because that's what today is. It's the new year. And uh, I'm going to start teaching on the 4th, which is, uh, which is a Monday. But this, this chord progression started out as a simple improvisation. G to C9 and does that three times. Four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And does that three times. And then goes to a D, three, four. And then a D7, two, three, four. Back to G5. And this chord progression, um, I was improvising on it and I thought, hey, I'm going to do a video. Uh, showing people how to improvise over this chord progression. And it's actually grown into a series about the pentatonic scale, which is right, just a five note scale. A diatonic scale is a seven note scale, like, um, and a pentatonic scale is one, two, three, four, five, and then you get back to the octave again. So the major and minor pentatonic scales are basically the same thing. I mean, the same pattern. You just put them in different places. This video started to morph into how to fill in that, that um, pentatonic scale. And then I started to make charts and stuff and, and, and diagrams on how to understand it and how to fill it in and where everything is and the five different positions and that kind of thing. And um, I started to, I actually recorded a couple of times and I started to edit that recording and it was coming along pretty well and then I had to switch things around. Anyway, long story short, I decided to break this series because now it's a series up into five different videos. So I'm going to do that and I'm working on it. And um, I want you to know that creating music is not about learning patterns and scales. That's not what music is. Music comes from your heart. For instance, when I, when I play this, um, this pattern right here, this, uh, here's the loop. And then I start playing. Right? Well, this just comes from my heart. But understanding where to go. And what to do actually comes from not from just my heart, but it also comes from the understanding of where do I find these notes that I'm playing and how do I work with those notes? The patterns and the scales are an, an inevitable part of creating music, um, at least tonal music based on Western traditions, which have permeated our culture for hundreds of years. When you start to play music, uh, you find patterns. I mean, you just find them. <laughs> There's the first position of the uh, pentatonic scale. And then we fill it in. Right? And then we can go to different places. Hit the wrong note there. And so, also, what do you do when you hit a wrong note? You know, that's part of like, I'm, I'm trying to just do this off the cuff, and so 
I'm actually hitting some wrong notes. So. wrong notes like that it's like ah you know I, I was I think what happened was that my mind was in a space where I I realized well as soon as I hit the wrong note I was like oh no I thought I was in one place but I wasn't um, but we learn from this we learn from hitting wrong notes so don't be discouraged about that um, I do have a video on loopers I will put it up here in the corner um, you can find the tag right there and uh, go and look at that video on loopers because loopers can be very helpful when you're learning how to do this, when you're learning how to uh, improvise and things like that. You don't have to get an expensive looper. They're, they're under $100 for a decent one. And so the, that video is about the looper that I have and also the one I would get today if I were to buy a new one. All right, that's all I have for you. Um, we'll talk to you later. Okay, thanks for coming along. I do have a Patreon page for those of you who want to be, uh, you know, help to support this channel. I also have a Music and Lead Sheets book that you can get for, I'm putting it together and I'm, I'm adding to it uh, weekly and release a couple of versions every month uh, to people who support me, whether on Patreon or on Subscribestar or just donate to me through the PayPal link that you'll find in the description. And we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.